So this step-by-step all-in-one SEO plugin guide will transform your websites or your blogs SEO. If you're looking for a new plugin to install, which is all-in-one SEO plugin, this is the perfect guide for you. Or if you already have all-in-one SEO plugin installed on your website, follow this tutorial and make sure you have the best settings so you do not have any Google Search Console errors and your website rank top in Google Search Engine rankings. So let's start tutorial first installing by the plugin. Go to plugins and then click on add new and then you'll come on space search here AI SEO you'll find this first plugin all in one SEO powerful SEO plugin to boost SEO rankings and increase traffic you can see there are 3 plus million active installation and around 4.5 star rating given by more than 4000 people very reliable plugin guys click on install now and once installed click on activate now you'll present it as onboarding screen when you install the plugin first time if you're already using all in one SEO plugin on your website you just want the best configuration what you can do Go to all in one SEO plugin and then click on dashboard. Then you see this button here, launch the setup wizard. Once you do this, you will come to the same screen which is presented when you install the plugin or first time. So now we click on let's get started. And then here you need to define which category best describe your website. So you have multiple options here, blog website, news channel, online store, small offline business, corporation portfolio. Depending on website business, choose the relevant option here. Then homepage title. So generally for homepage, it should be your target keywords. For example, my website is about how to create a website. So I can change this homepage title to how to create a website. And then you have homepage meta description. You can see there's a big text which is already preloaded here. So what you can do, you can delete all of it and then you can add any text here. I already have my description ready. So I'll just paste it here. Learn website development with comprehensive tutorials, step-by-step guides and expert tips. Master HTML, CSS, JavaScript and more. Guys, make sure you include the target keywords in your meta description. Don't just push too much content here. Just keep it like nice, easy, and you know, target the main keywords which your website is focused on. In case you cannot decide what to write here, you can leave it like this. You can decide it later. I will show you how you can change homepage title and meta description. Then click on save and continue. And now choose whether it's a personal organization. If it's a personal portfolio for a photographer, for a wedding planner, or anybody else which is a person, like a portfolio site, then choose person, otherwise the organization. And then you can write organization title, what is the name of your organization and description, what does your organization do. If you're not sure what to put here, you're a person, choose person here, so everything else is gone. Or if it's a small company, you can choose organization. Okay, now you need to add your phone number here. You need to choose the country code and then write your correct phone number here. And then for logo, you need to upload or select the logo. I'm going to select the existing logo for my website and then click on choose image. Then you need to choose the default social share image. So what happens when somebody shares your website over social media, for example, Instagram and WhatsApp, this logo or this image will be shown here. So you can choose the same image like a logo or if you want, you can choose a different image. For example, if it's a blog about cooking, you can choose a cooking image. If it's a blog about fitness, you can choose a fitness image or anything else. If it's a professional company, you can choose any image. For example, it's a web development. I'm going to choose this image here and then click on choose image. So whenever somebody shares my website URLs on any social media, this image will be shown. Then guys, make sure you add all your social handles here and then click on save and continue. And then you have multiple options here. Which SEO feature do you want to enable? So this really is all about free version of all I even SEO plugin. You can leave everything like this and then in then you can click on save and continue. And then we'll come to step four, search appearance. So for him guys, make sure you choose whether it's under construction side or live side. Because if it is not a live side, make sure you choose under construction. This is really important guys. If you choose enable live side, and the website is still under construction, a lot of URLs could be indexed on Google. And later it's going to be really complicated to remove those URLs from Google. So guys, make sure you check this option only when your site is going live. And then include all post types. We're going to talk on this a little bit later because this is the mistake a lot of people does. And that's why you have so many errors on Google Search Console. So for now, just keep it, include all post type, and then enable sitemap. Do you have multiple authors or not? I don't have multiple authors, so I'm going to choose no. And then redirect attachment pages. Keep it yes, it's good for SEO because what happened whenever you add a new media on your website, it created an attachment pair for this. And when you have thousands of media on your website, for example, PDF files, images, logos, different attachment pages are created. And that could make things really complicated. This image SEO is different thing and attachment URL page is totally different thing. So make sure redirect attachment pages is checked. Then click on save and continue. If you want a suggestion for all-in-one SEO plugin, you can enter email here. And if you want to contribute to AI SEO plugin development, you can check this option. Otherwise, you can keep it unchecked. And then save and continue. And then we come here because on second or third step, we left some points checked, which were only available in pro version. So they're asking us to purchase those features and install them. But I'm going to click on I'll do later because this step-by-step -step guide is about all-in-one SEO plugin free version. 
and then click on connect to Google Search Console. It is really important, guys. Their website should be connected by Google Search Console. You will come to this page here. Then choose a Google account. Then go ask for some permission. Click on continue, and then select all what this plugin can do, and then click on continue, and then click on complete connection. And then if you are using pro version of AI SEO plugin, you can enter the license here. But for now, I'm going to just click on skip this step because we are not using a pro version. And that's it. That's the first onboarding setup for this plugin. If you have followed this tutorial until now, you already improved SEO on your website. And then click on free setup and go to dashboard. So guys, this part is really important now. Make sure you watch this video until the end. I'm going to give you a lot of important tips so you do not have various Google Search Console errors because sometimes the plugin come by default and sometimes you might need to check those options that can increase some problem in Google Search Console. So make sure you watch this tutorial until the end. So once you are here now on dashboard, you need to go to general settings. Here you can see option of webmaster tool. You need to connect webmaster tool. We already connected this. If you're using Bing webmaster tool, you can select this option and then enter your credential and you can connect all these things which you want to use. For example, I really recommend you to connect Google Search Console and Google Analytics. And then we have breadcrumbs. By default, Gutenberg block is selected here. But if you want to create new breadcrumbs, if your website or theme do not have breadcrumbs, what you can do, you can copy the shortcode and then you can paste on the head of the pages. Or you can add breadcrumbs wherever you want. For example, you can see this header here. I can just add the page and then I can copy the shortcode and I can add this somewhere on the page. So the page will have breadcrumbs. Almost every theme has this option and it works really nice. Just in case your theme doesn't have this option, I want to let you know that you can use this option to create breadcrumbs on your website. Then your RSS control. So this is a little bit controversial. I'm going to talk in more detail later in this video. Should you enable RSS or not because some people like it, some people doesn't like it. For some people it is useful, for some people it is not useful. We're going to talk more about it later in the video. Then we access controls. It's a pro feature, you can leave it and then your advanced feature. Where your true score and content, it is for on-page SEO. So you can elevate your content and you can have the best quality of your content. Head line analyzer, post type columns, a lot of important things here. Make sure you leave everything like this because they are really important for your on-page SEO. Then click on save changes. There are not so much thing you need to change in general settings. But what you really need to focus in this coming point. So let's go on search appearance. Okay, so this is really important guys. So first you need to choose a title separator. You can choose any of these. All work fine. That doesn't make a lot of difference. So you can leave it like this or if you want, you can choose any other option from here. Then you can see this is how your homepage will look like on search engine. You can see the website headline here. You can see the title for the page, home, let's get your website and the meta description for the homepage. If you want to change it, you can click on this like edit your homepage setting and I can open a link in new tab. So this will open the homepage on your website. Like same way you can open any page on your website and you can change the meta title, meta description and different option about SEO on that page directly. And then next important thing is content types. So okay, this is really important option and I want all your attention on this topic when I'm explaining this. If you don't understand anything, please comment on the video. I will reply to all the comments on this channel. So when you are here on content types, we will see this post here. So in post, you need to select yes. And then here again, you can see how the post will look like on search engine. So this is the page title. This is the meta description of the page. By default, you will see the page name here. For example, you can sample post, but whatever the name of the post will be, will be shown here. And then the small excerpt from the page or post will be shown here. And how it is created here. You can see post title, which is the post title here. Separator, you can see this small dash here. And then site title. If you want to add something more here, you can click on view all tag and then you can add anything from here. But all this works really fine. You can leave everything just like this. Meta description, post excerpt works real nice for most of the people. So do not change anything here. And then we have schema markup for post types. Pro feature, we're not going to cover this. Then custom field is again pro feature, we're not going to cover this. And then we advance. So make sure the setting, they are both checked here. Okay, this is about post. Now let's see pages. For pages, everything you can leave just like this. Everything is set up real nicely. And schema markup and custom field, they are pro features. And then go to advance. In advance, make sure these both are checked. Okay. Now this is the important thing, guys. So I have the custom post title website for landing pages. But I do not use them, so make sure anything which you doesn't use or which you don't want to be shown on Google, you check this option to know that don't show this option to the search result. For example, if I scroll the page, you can see products here. I want the products on my website should be shown in Google search result because it's a WooCommerce website. But if I scroll page more, you can see Elementor header and footer builder. So this is a plugin I'm using on my website and that create a custom post type. So we do not want to show the custom post type, so I'm going to check this. No. What is custom post type if you don't know? Check the link in the description. I created a complete video about it or your custom post type. So make sure you need to check only those options to be added on Google or to be shown in Google, which are relevant to your website. This plugin, it creates header and footer of my website, but I don't want this header and footer to be indexed on Google. So this header and footer, they're not the complete page. They're the part of the page. 
So I don't want this part of the page create its own entity to be shown on Google. So I'm going to keep this unchecked. And one more thing guys, when you uncheck any option with the custom post type, go to advanced and then you can see this option use default setting. You uncheck this option. So you will see so many things here. Make sure there is no index check there. Once you make sure the post type you don't want to be shown or indexed on Google, they're set to know in the option where it says show in search result. WooCommerce I'm keep to yes. And then landing pages I'm going to keep to no because I'm not using them. If you're using them, keep them yes. And then pages should be yes from here and then post also should be yes from here. Okay, once done, click on save changes. If all this sounds complicated to you, please rewatch the video again or I will add so many important small videos in the description of the video because I create so many videos where I cover these points one by one. I create the complete video on this mini topics. So make sure you check those videos if this is a little bit complicated for you so you can gather the complete knowledge around SEO. And the coming part will not be so complicated. So make sure you stick to the video until the end and please rewatch the video if you don't understand anything. Or if you want to ask anything, just comment on this video. I reply to all the comments on this channel. Now click on taxonomies. So categories, make sure it is checked yes here, guys. But now the next thing is tags. Guys, make sure it is checked to no. This is again very controversial thing. In my experience, you should check this no because tags create sometimes more complications. Tags are really useful to connect the content on your website. For example, two different blog posts in different categories can have the same tag. So tags are really useful for that kind of feature. But to index tags on Google Search Engine can be complicated sometime. In Google Search Console, if you keep this option yes, you might have some errors. This is totally another topic. I created a complete video about it. You can also check the link in the description. But for now, I'll suggest you to keep it no. If you're somebody who advanced, you have your own SEO strategy, you can keep it yes. But for most of you and for me, which I do on all my website, I keep them no. They just create more problems than doing any good to your website SEO. And then product categories, guys, make sure you keep it to yes. If you have WooCommerce website, and then product tags, I'm gonna keep it again to no. And then click on save changes. And then here image SEO, make sure it text to attach and then rest is SEO pro feature. We can leave everything like this. Then we have author SEO, again this is a pro feature. Then we have archives, make sure you check to no. And then here data archives. I like to keep it no because sometimes it can create a lot of complication on Google search console. So keep it no. And then search pages, guys make sure keep it no. If not, you have so many URLs on your Google search console account that later it's going to really completely remove them. I created a complete video about it, how you can remove those URLs. But since starting, you should have the best SEO practice on your website. If you're somebody who's already using AI SEO plugin on your website and this option was checked to yes, don't worry too much about it. Keep it no and then wait for a few weeks or few months. Those URLs will be gone. And then click on save changes. And then we advance option. So global robots meta, keep it on. I get a complete video about robots.txt file. That's a really amazing video and one of the most popular video on my channel. Then everything else on this page, you can keep it like this. And then these are two important option guys. Scroll clean up. Make sure this option is checked. So what happens here? You can see the lot of RSS feed option here. Make sure they're disabled. And then you might see this option, disabling your global RSS feed is not recommended. This will prevent users from subscribing to content and can hurt your SEO rankings. So RSS feed is really old technology developed by Google, but nowadays most of people will not be using this technology. If you're somebody who wants this technology to have feed readers read the content for your website, make sure it is enabled. But for most of you, it's not going to be the case. And then everything else here should be disabled. All the feeds should be disabled. They make your SEO too complicated than giving any good. Again, this is a very debatable topic. A lot of people told me no, RSS should be on. But for my experience and everything I researched about in my experience, I think it's better to keep them disabled. And then there's another option, query argument monitoring. This is a really important option, guys. So keep the option checked and wait after some time. Because what happens sometime in your Google search console, you might find some weird URLs. So what will happen? This URL can be created by a plugin on your website or somebody trying to just execute your website. So what you can do? After one week, you'll find so many URLs here, which you will see same URLs in Google Search Console. So what you can do when you see those URLs here, you can select them and you can block those URLs. And that will tell to Google when you see URLs like this here, that please do not access these URLs and do not index these URLs on search engine, which are coming from my website. If you think it's too complicated, you can keep this option unchecked and then click on save changes. Now we have social networks here. If you haven't added the social URLs here, guys, make sure you add the all social URLs. If you don't have any social URLs, why not just create some few pages for Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok or anything which you think can relevant to your content. These days social media is really important guys. Some people are against social media but if you can get some benefit out of it for your website SEO, why not just use them. Just create few pages. For example, I like to create pages for Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube and Instagram for my businesses. So make sure the URLs for your social media are added here. And then click on save changes. Now the next important thing is website sitemap. So sitemap is really important. Sitemap gives this information that which pages from your website you want to be indexed on Google. It's really important option. By default, click on open sitemap and you can see that default sitemap for your website. So make sure enable sitemap is checked. 
and the rest everything on page you can leave just like this and then for as a sidebar make sure we disable this video sidebar and new sidebar the pro feature i'm going to leave that we're not going to cover in this video and then we are still inside map i'm going to keep this disable this option there's no downside of using this feature if you want you can use this option and then display html sidebar a dedicated page i like to keep this off my default exam sidebar works real nice then i click on save changes and then we link assistant which is again a pro feature we're not going to cover here and then we redirects which is a pro feature but there's another redirect plugin which is only free of cost on wordpress i already created a video about that so you can check that video in description you don't need the pro feature from ai seo you can use that plugin to track all the redirects on your website and have the better seo so guys make sure you check those videos too because sometimes what happens you watch this one video sometimes you understand everything sometimes you don't understand some parts from that video but it is always a good advice and good practice that you go and check links in the description so that you can get the complete knowledge around that topic because if you get half knowledge sometimes it's fine it worked well but that's not the best thing try to get the complete information about this topic so you're not wasting your time you're getting the complete information i'll make sure that i will add the important links which you talked in this video if i forget any link please remind me in comment that i forget to add link to any video to or to any topic and then we have local seo which is again a pro feature i'm not going to cover it and then we have seo analysis you can see seo analysis of your website overall it's 83 excellent and there are multiple items what you can correct on your website for example your meta description is 180 characters long which is too long so you can just click here and then you can add your meta description and you can make it shorter and then some image on your page do not have alt attribute so what you can do you can check which image do not have alt attribute so what you can do you can click on add your page so you'll go to home page of website and you can see how many images i have here and make sure you add the alt tag to these images because it really help for search engine to identify what the image is about for example this image here is a guy working on a laptop so you just click on the page editor with elementor or whichever page editor you are using and then go to that image i click on the image you can see the image selected here if i click on this image you can see there is the option to alt text so i should write something which is relevant to that image so for example man working on laptop this is just an example but make sure you write the relevant alternate text to that image what is this image about and then you select so now the alt text is added here and make sure update the page so do this for all the images which do not have alt text this is a good practice if you have thousands of images you do not need to go to all the images and do this because they are going to take days and days and weeks and weeks so make sure next time when you upload the image you add the alt text to that image and then everything looks real nice because we have set up the plugin properly and correctly and then performance we have some option here some css file doesn't seem to modify it your page makes more than 67 requests so guys who are already follow this channel they know this channel has so many videos about speed optimization if you want to improve website performance in speed make sure you check the videos linked in the description i created so many videos around this topic and then we search statistics which is a paid feature and then final thing is tools we click on tools then from here you can add the robot.txt file on your website you can click here open robot.txt file you can see how it is looks so guys i get a complete video about this that what is the best robot.txt file depending on a wordpress website wordpress website woocommerce a shopify website a webflow website or a wix website so make sure you check that video that video is real nice video there's thousands of views on that video and so many comments and that video is like few minutes long so make sure you check that video and then make sure you make the necessary changes here once you're satisfied click on save changes here you don't need to touch any other option on this page whatever we talked today is completely enough for or even one seo plugin configuration on your website if you follow this tutorial i'm sure the website seo will improve if you get any value out of this video make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel this will take a lot of time to create and i will really appreciate if you can gently press the like button and destroy the subscribe button now you want to know how to rank number 1 on google search engine rankings check this video on screen and if you want to know how to increase website speed check this other video on screen